Russia's economy has been going through tough times as of late. Some of the pain has been circumstantial, with oil, something Russia depends on, falling to around $50 a barrel. But a lot of that pain has been self-inflicted, as Russia's invasion of Ukraine prompted world leaders to slap tough economic sanctions on Moscow. On today's Press Review for Ukraine Today, we take a look at what journalists are writing about Russia's economy. First, an article from The Economist appearing in Business Insider. They write, how we know Russia's economic crisis has officially arrived. They argue that because of the lack of economic news in Russia's media, a crisis has arrived. The Economist writes that media in Russia is using an old Soviet trick. Instead of reporting facts, Russian media conceals them. But whereas television does not mention the economy, ordinary Russians have been busily changing rubles into dollars, buying anything that has not gone up in price, and making contingency plans. Next from The Guardian, they write, Russia's ruble crisis poses a threat to nine countries relying on remittances. Now, a remittance is money that a foreign worker sends home to his family. And millions of people are working in Russia and sending money, remittances, back to their families in Tajikistan, Armenia, Uzbekistan, and Georgia. There are nine countries in total that stand to lose more than $10 billion. That's according to The Guardian, because of the weak Russian currency. The 50% drop in the ruble has not only decimated the value of remittances sent home by workers from the Caucasus and Central Asia, but is discouraging migrants from staying in Russia to earn a salary for themselves and their families. And finally, we look at Bloomberg. They write that the world's most volatile currency is not the Russian ruble, it's the Swiss franc. After holding on to the title for the past 12 months, Russia's ruble was surpassed by the franc following a surprise move by the Swiss Central Bank to abandon its cap on the franc's value. While the Swiss franc may have topped the ruble in this scale, the ruble remains the most volatile currency in emerging markets. That's all for today from Kyiv, Ukraine. Join us back here again tomorrow.